Something I'm adding on here, I forgot to even talk about, most important thing of all this stuff. See that white right there is a wireless, it's a wireless uh, internet. It talks with that. There's an app on my phone called My, my, my Green. I log into that app using this wireless uh, Me Cloud, and I can actually do settings. I can actually change battery type. I can actually find like a uh, what my solar system's doing. So, say for instance, I'm in uh, Manila, and I want to see what my solar system pr producing. All I have to do is tie into this Me Cloud on the app, and it'll tell me it's producing like right now 22 watts of power. Uh, charging the batteries. Now a misconception about this whole thing with solar is, is this. The panels on the roof, except for these, the, the 400 watt, this goes into the grid. So I'm getting immediate benefit off of this right now because sun's out. At night, I do not. This is where I get my night. Now, the solar panels themselves, all they do is charge the battery. You actually run all your power and everything off your battery. So your fridge, your TV, your air conditioning, anything that you have is all done with that. That's the key to the system. But you need the solar panels to charge the batteries to bring them up to peak. And you never want to let these run down. Now these are gel batteries. I have gel. You can get lead acid gel. Uh, you can get lithium. In the future I'm going to buy lithium which will last a thousand times longer. You should give me about four or five years. Uh, the lithium can give me <laughs> a long time because lithium bring all the way down to this much in the battery or this much in the battery. And the lead acid, you have to keep it kind of topped off. The gel, I can bring it down 40, 50% and it should be okay. But I want to just uh, run this and talk to you about this real quick. This little chart, this thing right here is just running the outlet on the wall we just use that as a test. Okay, thank you, and thank you for watching. Oh, also, this can this be plugged into your outlet. You take that and plug it into your outlet on your wall, and it does good. You don't need any of this other stuff. You just plug this in to your to your uh, wall outlet, and it'll take produce power from the solar and run it back into your system to your grid. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, okay, so what I did was I put together pricing on everything, what it cost me to do this particular system. And I'm going to, uh, let me pick up my book here. Uh, this particular system, now this includes everything. This includes the panels. This includes all the, all the, all the wiring, everything it has to do with it. So I bought two panels. I'm just going to give you, I'm going to give you, uh, peso prices because that's how I have it figured. I don't know why I did peso. I'm getting to where I have peso is the way to go for me. Uh, panels, uh, end up buying two pounds, 14,000, 200 watt each, which is $140. Uh, now, I'm uh, negotiating a price with uh, Lazada. They tricked me on two panels. In that, it says, okay, uh, one box, two panels, 11,000. So I bought two boxes. 22,000, right? So I should get four panel. Well, they only shipped one box. So I'm negotiating that. So I'm up 10,000 peso or 11,000 peso, which I do not like, but I'm including it in the price because that's what I paid. All right, so 22,000 for two more panels, which should be only uh, 11,000, but 22,000 wiring. Okay, everything that all said and done, including labor, wiring, all the equipment here, the MVP controllers, uh, everything, we're looking at 55,000 peso, which is $1,100. Includes the panels, the wire, the boxes, the uh, 3,000 peso for the, for the uh, controller, the wireless inverter, uh, the wireless, excuse me, the wireless uh, setup for the Mi Cloud was um, 2.5, which is $50. I threw in an extra 3000 for miscellaneous things that we had to buy, like we bought some extra wire, stuff like that. So you're looking at now, uh, this, this solar system cost me $1,100. Now, 
what kind of payback am I going to get on that, right? The grid is actually saving me right now about $15 a month on the average, the grid tie-in. And I don't turn it on every day because I forget it. There's some days I don't even run it. Uh, two days, three days, some weeks. It's producing almost a kilowatt a day of power, believe it or not. If I would leave it on, I would save a lot more. So right now I'm saving $15. It's just say, if I put everything on solar, I would get a payback less than a year. Because my bill runs anywhere from four to 5,000 pesos. Last two months, it was down, uh, uh, one was 800 down, and the last one was uh, a little over 800 down. So uh, 1,600. Uh, and then, of course, we have tax, tax, tax on top of all that. So I kind of want to give you an idea. So really, $1,100 panels, installation, all, everything, but I have two systems. That's actually pretty cheap. So I figure $600 a system, $550 a system. Uh, it's well worth it. In the long run, guess what? Brown out? Ah, no worries. Yeah, I have power. Everything's going to run anyway. It will not know any different because if I have a brown out, I had three in one day on Saturday. So something to, that for me, I can't stand it because my fridge goes offline. I have freezer items in there. Even a small fridge, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. So uh, for me, I have to have the, the power to do whatever I need to do. So uh, it's worth the five five hundred and fifty dollars per system. Now, what you can do too, um, you can actually buy one or two one hundred watt panels, inexpensively. Probably uh, you can buy them in town right now for. Uh, sixty dollars each 100 watt Chinese panels the the glass and things are made in Germany you can take those panels and you can uh, power your fridge depending on the size of the fridge of course now if you have a big fridge you cannot you can power that little fridge I have in the background there no worries in a TV no worries maybe a few lights uh, or a fan now you have to make a call fan or and it depends on your battery. So you can get lead acid battery, the big one, It'll give you 20 amp hour, 40 amp hour, and you can get a lot of service out of it. Sometimes I take these gel batteries, and what I do is I, uh, before, I would take it and just hook the lights up with it. Now see, here's the gel battery. This is the bad one. I ruined this one myself. This, this one I ruined. Gel, keep it in the house. It's not gonna affect it, it's not gonna affect it. This lead acid I don't want to keep in the house. I can keep this gel in the house. And all we did was is buy the light with the little clippies. And then you can have lights. Just put positive, negative. And you have lights. <clears throat> I did that before. Uh, and what had happened was uh, when you run out of power, you need you need light. So I did that. And that works very well. The, the problem with it is, is it runs out of battery and you got to charge it somehow. So how do you charge it, right? Say so that by a charger. But, uh, and the lights are bright. Now, I also have with a solar system, another solar system I bought inexpensively, uh, which is this one right here. This one right here. And this powers lights and things like that, charge phones. And I had that. Now, that one's going over to the other house for lights. And the light, all you need is one light. It's so bright. It's white light. It's bright, bright, bright. So. Uh, I wanted to go over that price structure so let you know. The batteries cost me 16, that includes the batteries in that price, it cost me 1600 pesos each. 50 amp hour, 12 volt. So, which is $30, $32 a battery. And well worth it. Uh, solar batteries are very, very, very expensive. You can use lead acid, you can use solar, you can use lithium. Lithium would be the way to go. Just buy the power packs, like the e-bike power packs. And you can run a whole system on that and it wouldn't take many at all and you could have enough lights and power and air con I'm thinking about just putting lithium on that system back there for the air con don't know but I want to show everybody this I'm rambling again thank you very much thank you for watching our channel please subscribe